Hi everybody, this is Menrel, Menrel Martel Photography, and today I want to talk to you about Photomarks. So what is Photomarks? It is an application of software for PC or Mac or for your iPhone that will create watermarks for you, resize a photo, crop your photo, batch export. There's a few options there. Uh, and I want to talk to you about what I think of this software, and I want to show you a few of the features. So let's dive right in. Okay, I am at the website here, the photomarksapp.com. And as you can tell, you can try this for free. So it is a little bit on a pricier size, uh, side, sorry. It is 30 US for the photomarks. You can buy that on the app store as well. And on your phone, I believe it's 699 Canadian for the app for the iPhone. Now, not many apps on the iPhone do uh, watermarks, which if you work a lot with uh, images, Instagram and stuff like that, and you don't do much on a computer, it could be a very good investment. As well as if you do have a PC or a Mac and you don't have software to do watermarks, Photomarks is easy to use. It's a great environment to work into. It works fantastic. I did a bunch of tests and every time it uh, create a watermark where I wanted it. I have other software I tried, the watermark keep changing, there was something weird happening with it, not with Photomarks. They are bang on. So that's their um, website. If I scroll down a bit, you have a list of features right there. So if you want to pause the video, take a look at the features, they're described right here. Okay, let's go into the software. So first thing I really like about this is the interface. It's easy to navigate, it's easy to use, and I'll show you in a second what I mean by that, but you can drag and drop your photo, you can click there to add photo. On the right side, you have add photos, add folders, review, remove or view them. And there's on the top here, you have tab number one is the add photo. Tab number two is to edit photos. You'll have a bunch of graphic filters on, this, on the left side, and you'll have a preview of your image. Then you're gonna have your setup. Setup is how do you want to uh, export your photo. So for the, in this case, for example, I'll make a folder whenever, whenever I wanna export. And I'll press new folder, I'll call that watermark. And I'm gonna create this and that way I'll have a new folder watermark you just saw right there and I press open and this is where it's gonna go. The output format, then you can choose if you want the original if possible or if you want to switch to something else. Now um, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, whatever, they take, they claim to take around 50 raw type images in there so you can convert that to JPEGs afterwards. So, And then you press process to uh, export your images basically. So streamline one, two, three, four is very simple that way. Okay so let's take a look at adding an image in there. So what we're gonna do is we can click here and then we're gonna go add an image. So I'm gonna go to my Vancouver folder and I'm gonna add this city landscape image. So it's in here now. If I want to remove it, I can totally do that, but uh, by removing this one here, remove the selected one, and it'll ask you do you want to remove it. But in this case, we want to work with it. So what we're gonna do here is go to edit. Now I have a bunch of filter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these I'm going to remove them all and I'll show you how to build them. So filters is where you're going to find your text for your watermark, your logo, and there's frames that you can put around your image and you can uh, rotate, crop, resize. And I'll show you a feature I really like about this is the resize one. I'm going to press OK. And then what I really like about this resize here is you'll see there's like a very dark version of the image, which is the original. In this case, uh, the pixel was fairly large. The original size was 5179 by 2746. Now what I can do is drag the corner and choose a size if I want to, wing it if you want. You can maintain the aspect ratio. It's ticked by default. You can untick that and really do something wonky if you feel like it. Now I wanna maintain the aspect ratio and you can either change it 
like manually to be very precise and choose the amount of pixel. If I want 3000 pixel wide, I can do that as well. And then it's gonna, it will match the height because you have to maintain the aspect ratio. You can also do in percents. Same thing with the crop, you can choose whatever percents. If I want the image to be 50% of the size of the original one, I can also do that. Okay, so let's say I want a full size, I don't want to resize, but I really, I just want to touch on this where you can actually see the difference between the original and the, the resize one, which is not something you see in a lot of software. So very well done. We're going to cancel this. Now, let's add my logo. So we're going to go, there's the options to, in text here, to add just text, logo, or a mask which is the mask will be different for portraits or landscape, which in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to add my logo in there. We're going to press OK. They'll ask me where it is. I'm going to browse on my computer, find this watermark of mine, and here it is. Now you can just drag the corner like this, make it bigger or smaller. You can choose where it is by top right, let's say, or you can just move it if you want as well. So let's put it, let's say, top right. And then if you want to, you can go around and create a title, which is going to make it like pretty much any, everywhere in the image. And you can just offset and play a bit with the arrangement of it. But I don't want a title. All I want is basically one. And we can blur if you want the actual uh, watermark. So it's a little bit more blurred if you put it this way. And uh, we'll keep it like this and then you can rotate it if you want which in this case probably I don't want to rotate it I'll leave it to zero. Oh, I press enter so if you press enter like you just happened here you have it right there but we can always go back and say I want to oops sorry and you want to click on your logo here and say edit because this is all we're not done with it right so we're going to go at the top here we get more so you can do more stuff so if you take a look at my logo there's like a drop shadow you can tell a little better there what we've done now because I already have one in my um, logo in general I'm not gonna want to double it so I'm just gonna take this draw shadow out of there and now you won't see the difference here because it's happening in here so you can have a stroke around your full logo mine is a PNG if I do that it's gonna create a bar around this rectangle not necessarily around the writing so I don't necessarily want that. It's not something that's going to help my logo, but it could be helping your logo in this case if it's different. So once you're done with this, we're going to press OK. And then now you'll see that it will change to my original one. So I'm happy with this. Let's say we're going to go ahead and go to the setup. We already created a, a, a folder but it's not selected, so we'll have to go and select it. And this is water watermark. I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to press Process. And I'm ready to process one image. And just like that, it's been done. So I'm going to open it to show you. And it's a JPEG. And here it is. That's my image. The image looks fantastic. And the logo is there where it should be. OK, I'm going to close Preview. Now, let's go back. We can press OK on this. I will show you, we're going to remove this image now. And yeah, and we're going to add a folder. We're going to add all of my images from Vancouver. So we're going to say, I want to add a folder. And then we're going to go to Vancouver and we're going to add the 29 photo I think I have in Vancouver. That's it. So now we're going to go to batch export. So we're going to go to there. Now my logo is everywhere it's going to be on the top right which is fine and if you want to we can add something else so we have uh, the shape frame grunge frame picture frame vintage we can raise shadow sample border around your um, your image but in this case let's say i want to put this on um i don't know let's say facebook and i don't want the full uh resolution so i'm going to go around and say i want 50 percent of the image only 50. There we go. So now I have the resized portion. It's going to be 50% of the original one. And then we're going to go to setup and it's going to go to watermark. 
And what we're going to do after that is maybe what we're going to do is create another one in watermark. We're going to create that and just be FB for Facebook 50%. FB 50, create. OK, and then we're going to process. So we're going to process 29 photos. So what I like about this is it process photos fairly quick. I mean, I do have a good laptop, but in general, it is fairly fast. So that's another thing I like. It's efficient. It's simple. It's a standalone application, though. So you'll have to export your photo, put them into photo marks, and then re-export them. So that's the only downside I could think of. But let's say we're going to take this photo here. It's 50% of its original size and the watermark is there and it's ready to go. So I'm going to close this. Now we're going to go to add photo. We're going to select them all. We're going to remove them. And then we're going to add one more image. Let's say we're going to take this one, the laughing man. And then we're just going to explore a little bit more what you can do. So we're going to remove this, remove all the filters now. Yes. And then I want to show you the borders and a few other things that might be free, may not be for, for you, but they are there. So we're going to go to decorate and then you get shame, the shame, the shape frame, sorry, not the shame. <laughs> and uh, you have different options. If you take a look here, it's a nice slit rectangle, I actually like that. And then you have different things, you get the star heart, there's different options. So if you're happy with this, you can press OK. And then if you don't necessarily want this filter and you want to try a few so you can apply to this and then just take it, take it off and we're going to add another one. Let's go to the grunge, the grunge section. You'll see what happened to it. You can change the background to be, let's say, black instead. And then what's going to happen is going to create that little grungy border, which is kind of like uh, if you were scratching the image a little bit type thing, right? Or paint it on top. So let's say press OK. So then let's say we're going to add another one, show you a bit the vintage frame, which I kind of enjoy. Different style. Again, uh, let's choose that one, the four corner there. And a uh, little sticky tape there. Look like you're, uh, you put a photo on your wall type thing. So, And then whenever that's done, we will uh, press OK. Here we go. We can see a preview of that. OK. So now, because I have this vintage frame tick there, it will, uh, Photomax will do its thing and then just put the actual uh, frame on it. Here it is. So if you like this, it's fine. You can go like this, but you can also press the shape frame. So you can add layers to this. So you can basically put a few more together and then look what it looked like. It can change the orders of them as well. So I'm not too sure what's going to happen when the shape frame comes. It's going to be uh, on top of the vintage frame. So that's going to be your base and the shape frame is going to be on top of it. So see how you have this little rectangle now. You have this shape. It's not necessarily the best, but it's okay. So we'll take that off and then we'll try the grunge instead. And then if you like it after that, you can just decide to keep it and then we're going to go to once again set up and then we're going to process it to export it. And at any time, something I didn't mention, you get the preview and you have the original. So if you want to see what the image looked like at first and you're going to see a preview, what it's going to look like. Not going to look that, I kind of like that look of the grunge and the vintage frame. So what we're going to do here is, um, before we go, if you like this and you think you're going to use that a lot, you can go around here and then save this preset. And then, then you can easily just go back to it if you try different things, right? So here we go. So set up. It's going to go now. We're going to select this. I'm going to go back to my um, Vancouver one, watermark, sorry, and then just press OK, open, and then we're going to process. and then. Now there's a little bit more filters, a little bit more to it. So it's going to take a little longer to create this. Like a watermark, it's fairly easy to put on top. But once you add uh, layers, it's going to be a little longer. But that being said, it's going to be done fairly quick anyway. And here it is. And we can take a look at this image now. And this is what it looked like. OK, so this is pretty much the, uh, the feature in Photomarks. Um, I really like how easy it is to work with it. I recommend it if you're looking for a version of PC or a Mac version to do some watermarking on your image. It's efficient. 
I'm going to say that it's easy to use and it's slick looking. Now it's a standalone, doesn't work with photos. So for you guys who want like a seamless transition, you'll have to do an extra step. And I will be very curious to try the app on the iPhone, which I don't have right now, but uh, there's good reviews on it. I have a look. It's a good price as well. So you can do your watermark on your phone. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, you can give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. You can subscribe to my channel if you want. I uh, do have a lot more uh, software that I look into that I, I try to look at uh, software that are for Mac users primarily because I'm a Mac user. But if you have any requests, any suggestions or anything you want me to review, just let me know and I'll do my best and give it a shot. All right, on that, I wish you all a great day and we'll see you next time.